Hello world, Christian Truther here, and I have a new video series for you entitled Tidbits, where I try to cover a flat earth topic in about two minutes. For the time being, we'll be focusing on a slightly famous video that gives 200 proofs that the world is not a spinning ball. Due to time constraints, I'll always be putting links to my evidence and mathematical equations in the description below. Here are my rules, but I'm burning through my own time, so let's dive in. The first argument in the series states that only space agency imagery shows any curvature and it's all CGI, while amateur video and photography at about 120,000 feet does not show any curvature. I've covered satellites and their imagery in my second and my third videos in a conclusive 10-part series, as well as an interview with Brian, a geocartographer with no NASA or other space agency ties, who uses that data without problems, so check out those links. So first off, it's not just space agencies. Also, the premise that they're all fake CGI is never supported, and I have a problem with that. Now it's the real argument, the video evidence. First off, 120,000 feet is not actually very far. It's less than two-thirds of the distance across the narrowest part of Rhode Island, the smallest state in the USA, which itself is only a small part of the world as a whole. Professional marathon runners cover that distance in about two hours on foot. It's not that far. Secondly, I noticed that these videos never seem to talk about their equipment or their settings. For accuracy, you'd need a camera that is not susceptible to barrel or lens distortion, and you'd need to account for zoom settings, all things any self-respecting scientist should take into account. Finally, they never tell you what to expect to see at this distance. So let's break this popular video that's been running down. No details in the video or the description on the equipment. There's nothing but you can tell it's not a rectilinear lens which isn't available on consumer grade equipment anyway as there is uniform flaring upwards at the edges of the screen at all points in the video see a center bulge in the lens would bend light away from the middle and it's clearly happening here now as far as what you'd expect to see on a perfectly round ball the horizon would be about 427 miles away from the viewer at 120,000 feet. The width of the shot at a 35 millimeter standard is 55 degrees, or in this case, would be about 391 miles. The bulge would only be about 5 miles, or 1.27% of your screen. That's a decimal followed by a 0, 1, 2, 7 for a multiplier for a perfect setup, which this camera clearly is not. Let the truth set you free. This is Christian Truther, signing out.